I got a request from a subscriber to do an update on my Justin Clou Cartier bracelet. So thank you Sil Sam for your question in my recent video. I still have this bracelet and I do enjoy it. But I have to be honest, it's not a bracelet that I wear every single day and there are some reasons. I'm going to talk about why I don't wear it as often and what I do with this bracelet at the moment. And if you haven't watched my other videos, um, I will link it down below because I had a video about a repair story of this bracelet bracelet and I also did a video about why I like this bracelet. Right now for me, I don't wear it so often because of my current active lifestyle. I wear my love bracelet all the time just because it's really hard to take off. I actually don't feel like it is uh, super heavy and it doesn't you know, interrupt my hand movements when I do my exercises. Some of the exercises that I do in class is includes like boxing so the bracelet will move up and down. It will kind of leave little dents or like bruises on my arm but it's not a big deal. I've gotten used to it. When I wear my JUC together with my love bracelet and I have that movement, two things happen. Firstly, they are clanking on each other which I don't think it's good even though this is quite a sturdy bracelet it won't damage however that constant hitting back and forth in a class sometimes we do hundreds of pun air punching it will damage your bracelet I do sometimes wear a wrist guard even for this I will wear a wrist guard which is a tight one it stops the movement it does help but with the JUC because it is bulkier on my wrist the wrist guard sort of presses it onto my hand and then kind of leave a dent there so because of all of that I have started to just take it off and I only take it up when I know I don't have any exercises for the day and I can just wear this freely without worrying that I'm gonna damage it or like hit it in exercising. The other reason why I am not wearing it as often is because for some reason I feel like it's quite flashy. I enjoyed it while I started to uh, have it in the beginning. I like that flashiness but of late maybe the whole economy as well. The surroundings, I just don't feel so comfortable having so much gold. Like if I wasn't wearing my JUC and this additional bracelet, just say my nomination bracelet which I have on my wrist all the time and I just had my JUC. So let me just wear it now like this. That will be fine. But I think I have a lot going on for me on my wrist and because my lifestyle is mainly at home right now, I don't feel like I need to be so flamboyant. Or I will be flashy when I have those special occasions to go out. Even if I'm just going out myself for you know, maybe dinner or hanging out at Iron Orchard, then I'll wear it. But not on an everyday basis because I truly just go work and gym and that's basically my life. So that's the two reasons why you don't see me wear it so often. Doesn't mean that I don't love this bracelet. It's just something that has become an occasional bracelet. Whenever I wear it, I do love the heftiness of it. Since my repair story, let's talk about that. I haven't had issues with this bracelet anymore. So if you haven't watched that repair story, I will link it down below. Do check that out because if you have a bracelet that had the same problems with mine, which is where the hinge is loose. So let me take out mine right now. It's very stiff. So my bracelet in that video, I shared the part where it's hinging. When I moved it, this whole bottom piece swung like a pendulum. It was loose. It came off my wrist several times without me doing anything. The last straw was when I was just working like this, my desk, my computer, my hand was on the table, I was using my mouse and the next thing I knew, the bracelet was on the desk. I didn't touch it, All I was move my hand was just moving on the desk, it came out and that's when I just freaked out. I called my essay and said, look, I've told you a few times, I think there's something wrong with this bracelet because I did tell my essay a couple of times before I think, is it supposed to be loose? My essay was like, I think so, it shouldn't be. Then after that happened, I totally just said, I think you need to check this. It just fell off my wrist. And when they brought it back, they really determined there was something wrong. But it got it fixed and I don't have this issue anymore. You know, it doesn't look, it doesn't move. So watch that video and check if your bracelet is like that. Since that video until today, oh, at least that video until maybe mid of last year, I was wearing my uh, JUC consistently. And then in this year itself, I have not. So uh, since, I, I don't know, a, a while, a while to say that I have been using it, I haven't had any issues. And because this past year, so what, nine, 10 months, I have been taking it in and out. So even worse, because 
when I was wearing it after the repair, I wore it consistently to the gym, with my wristband, I wore it to go out, I was, it was on my wrist a lot. Because I was now in this transition where I use it on an occasional uh, time, taking it out, putting it on, taking it out multiple times, I thought it would loosen and it would come back to the same situation. But honestly, no. So if I were to be faced with the same shakiness on this bracelet, Cartier did a great job. No cost to me. They fixed it. They even polished it. They did the shining service and it looks amazing. It looks so good. I want to end this quick little update video on my thoughts on whether I still recommend the JUC bracelet. I still do. It's a really unique bracelet from Cartier. No other luxury house has come something close to this. The closest, and I guess the one that a lot of people compare it to is the Bulgari Serpenti bracelet. To me, it's, it has the same curved you know, shape, but it's not the same. It's still, it's still different. That to me looks more elegant. This is edgy. It's different, it's a nail, it's got its own significance. It can mean something about, I don't know, it can mean anything to you. I, for, for me, that is, um, they believe like if you wear something that's so sharp and hardy, it does a bit of like protection, you know, you wear something that protects you from outside world. <laughs> I don't know, it's just superstition. But anyway, coming back to whether or not this is a bracelet that you should get or you want, if you're thinking about it, is it worth getting? Now, when I purchased this, I believe the price was still below 10. It was maybe 9, just before the price increase. I feel like if you like an edgy piece in your collection um, to match to your love bracelet, this is a really good match. It's just so stunning. The weight of this bracelet gives it a nice heft. And when you wear it, it really, really stands out. I don't think it's a bracelet that you will get bored of. Now, if you're thinking between the version, um, say, with or without the diamonds, personally for me, because this bracelet is already so loud and it's so sharp and, you know, it's so much already because it's the thicker version. Mine is the regular, not the thin version. I say just the plain gold is good enough. You don't need to get the one with the diamonds on the nail head. Diamonds add a hint of elegance to the bracelet. So you can, obviously, if you want to, go ahead, go and you do you. But if you're thinking, do you think it's worth it? You just want the bracelet because you like the look. I am very happy with the regular version, just the plain gold, like a gold bangle, because the look itself is edgy enough, it's sophisticated, it's funky enough for me. However, if I was going for the thin version, the one that's like a band without clipping mechanism, like sort of like a turn, which is very popular, that I personally think you should go with the diamonds because that is like a thin nail. You know, it's like kind of nail for your little headboard. You know, it's very, very thin and um, uh, soft. So it gives edginess, but cuteness. It's like Lisa <laughs> from Blackpink. It's the sweet but edgy one. So that, I think you should go with the diamonds. So that's my personal thing. If I were to start again, I would get the same version with the regular. But if I were to get the thin, I would go with the diamond. So anyway, I hope this update video is helpful. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit the notification bell as well. Otherwise, everyone, please take care, stay safe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!